I just looking at this, I want to direct everyone's attention to the left side of the screen. The painting oh my is God. just labeled President. President. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is it is the same guy that's the statues are, but it is really funny that it just says president. No context. No context. Uh, really good. Okay. I want to thank you for your help back there, Mr. Nero. It was nothing. You should thank the captain for granting you the permission. And just so everything is perfectly clear, I still don't trust you. Your standing with me hasn't changed one iota. I see. I will bear that in mind. I received an order from the captain earlier. He wanted you to know that... We reserve the right to stop your investigation if we feel you are not making progress. Okay, so this is why we can fail. This is, this yep, is yep. the fail state. Uh -huh. And when we do, he asks that you please return to your seat at that time. So my time runs out at his and his crew's discretion, does it? I have to find a way to discredit Mr. LeBlanc's testimony before time's up. I understand. By the way, is there any place you can think of where the killer might hide on board? I don't think so. After every, after every first class passenger was accounted for at his or her seat, we made a thorough search of the plane. As for business and economy class, ooh, they're Nobody poor. cares about them. <laughs> <laughs> They're stuffed in the they're stuffed in the hall yeah. with all the baggage. It's yeah, like, I have to imagine with uh, like how, how luxurious ginormous. first class is. Yeah, that that economy is literally just standing room inside <laughs> the plane it's, it's, in the it's, back. It's like okay, a I fucking think, bus think, line where you stand and packed, hold on. I think I think they're packed with the bags in the hall. <laughs> yeah, and and the and the beasts of burden. And the donkeys and the cows back there. <laughs> exactly. No one can move between those two classes and first class, uh, between those two classes and first class without a staff key card. And we found no record of a key card being used at all. Actually, I, I, I genuinely am curious about this. Have either of you or Chat can sound off too? Have you guys ridden in first class on an airplane before? Uh, I have no. once because they had an extra seat and they did a lottery of everybody on the plane and I got chosen, which was wow. And it was it was like a one hour flight, so I barely got to experience like the joys of it. Uh, they didn't even serve food, but it was still yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Like the chair was fucking comfy. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. That's just some. That's one of those things that like. I have never, I've ridden on so many planes in my life, and mm -hmm. I've never once experienced first class on a plane, and yeah. it's something that's so, it's like forbidden fruit. I know, it's just, it's so enticing, but god damn, it's so fucking expensive. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you you spend like an extra like 150 bucks for first class on a plane, More it's ridiculous. In some cases, yeah. Yes. Which means that I have a first class killer on my hands. <laughs> nice one, Edgeworth. <laughs> At least uh, this I know is your that captain much for speaking. Sure. That joke fucking sucked. Over. <laughs> Gah! <laughs> we're we're penalizing you for that <laughs> shitty joke. Over. <laughs> At least I know that much for sure. And one other thing. No one else has been allowed near this crime scene since the murder was discovered. Of. It was discovered either. <laughs> I love me a good. The, the title cards in this game are, are definitely a step above. Yeah. Now then, let's get started. But where should we start from? Start from? Hmm. Let's start with Mr. LeBlanc's statements. The crime occurred between 6 a.m. and 6.15 a.m. During that interval, the only person in the lounge was myself, which would make me. The prime suspect. However, since I did not kill Mr. Hicks, it means that the killer was around somewhere. A likely story. If we are to believe what you say is true, then yes. Hmm. 
The first order of business will be to gather information to win your trust. <laughs> it's funny that she had to start this like walking a little towards him. Uh, all right, let's look at this body. What floors does this elevator service? Is there more than two? How big is this well, fucking it goes plane? All the way, it goes all the way from the top floor to floor 69. Nice. Only the first and second, although it can also go down to the cargo hold. However, that requires a flight crew keycard. So the only floors accessible to passengers are the first and second. I won't rest uh, until I've inspected every suspicious-looking nook and cranny. He said the thing, chat. Hell yeah. There's a lot of nooks and crannies about to be rifled through. I doubt anyone was expecting to find a dead body in an elevator on this flight. I mean, least of all you. What are you talking about? So, Mr. Hicks, he's really dead? Yes. She's trembling. Although I can't fault her for that. Although I can't fault her for that when there's a corpse right there. Mr. Hicks, if... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hicks, if you're really dead, nice. then please answer yes. <laughs> I see she's over the trembling now. Although a new symptom seems to have appeared. Complete idiocy. <laughs> anyway. I should focus on the victim's body. Let's see. There's blood on the back of Mr. Hicks' head. Should this... Could this be the cause of death? He appears to have been struck very hard. Hey, uh, yeah. Oh. Even his glasses are broken. Hmm. I'm curious about this carabiner. I wonder know. what was hanging off of this lanyard. It's a lanyard. Something's missing in this picture. Now, if I could just put my finger on it. Uh, okay. Hmm. There's something sticking out of his pocket. Hope he won't mind if I take a look at what's inside. Oh, wait, that's right, he's dead. <laughs> hmm. It's a picture. <laughs> oh. I don't, th this this gives me fucking Golden Idol vibes uh, for some reason. I was gonna say that looks like a boss from like an N64 platformer on like a Mayan temple level or something. Ah uh, yeah, uh, it looks like the uh, what is it Mayan Mayhem from yeah. Banjo Tooie or Banjo whatever. Banjo Tooie, yeah. It, got, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it looks like it was taken inside a building somewhere. Astute observation, me. <laughs> That's the yeah, what what is definitely is the murder weapon. What is this sinister-looking figure on the floor here? Oh, that's a piggy bank of our company mascot, Captain Ugo. That sucks. I think it's supposed oh, to be Ugo. Like you, you, they, they, okay, they pronounce it Ugo. Because I know that's you. I think so. You go Because it's go. Because it's go. You airlines. Yeah. It's just one of the many places. It's just one of the many pieces of merchandise we sell at our in-flight shop. This bank is a limited edition, and it's so popular that we're down to our last one. You have an in-flight shop? Yes. It's just beyond the lounge to the right. The shutter to the store is closed at the moment, but it was open the whole flight up until Mr. Hicks's body was discovered. There's blood on here. Could this have been the murder weapon? Oh, more money. Money is strewn all over the floor of the elevator. I would guess it was all in Mr. Hicks's wallet at some point. Or have we you can uh, you can do a deduce. Oh, 
No, no, no. Da 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 da. I'm assuming we deduce on the uh, lanyard. Do we know what was on the lanyard? I mean, part of me thinks the wallet, but that's really weird to put a fucking thing on a wallet. Is there a, is there even a clasp on the wallet to hang it from the Not lanyard? Not really. Um, uh, uh, you can also you can also go to your logic on. Q. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot that we can kind of just do this. Uh -huh. Um, where is the killer murder weapon? Oh, murder weapon blunt force trauma. A statue with blood on it lying next to the body of a man who was beaten to death. Most likely unrelated. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I think I figured something out. I yes, what is it? The way the blood is on this, it looks like it matches up with the wound on his head. Ah, oh, damn it, I was just about to say that. <laughs> Well, aren't we deserving of the master of the obvious title? <laughs> Damn, Edgeworth. <sure. laughs> well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Don't you think that's worth investigating? Hmm. It would appear that this figurine is our murder weapon. Oh, I just knew it! I mean, I can't think of any other connection. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps Master of the Oblivious would be more befitting. He's so mean in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, Captain Hugo. Cool, cool, cool. Where was the killer? <laughs> Elevator, broken glasses. I don't necessarily think these are connected yet, so... Unless they were hiding in the elevator, but... The killer was inside the broken glass? Objection! What? The killer was swirly glasses. <laughs> he is the final Bushido blaster. Hee hee hee. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, in this picture, he's holding. He is oh. the phone. Yeah, oh, it's okay. his phone. Okay, okay, okay. So oh, so you can deduce, deduce that. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. Forgot Eureka! About that. Forgot about Eureka. How could I forget about Eureka? Eureka! <laughs> Mr. Hicks's machine is nowhere to be found. His machine? <clears throat> His cell phone, Mr. Nero. Ah, so I guess because it's not here... Yes, I think we can safely deduce that the killer took it. Okay. Look at that fucking sweet ass old phone. Love that shit. Hell yeah. Okay. I feel like that's, that's everything the fucking, here. That's a fucking Tokyo phone. Tokyo. Uh. Alright. Start examining shit here. This grand piano is the pride of this plane. Can play the music of whatever CD we insert into its CD drive in the year of our Lord 2017. Right. That this game takes yeah. place. Yeah, CD. Did you say CDs? CDs nuts, oh. Mr. Nero. <laughs> uh, that was a pretty good joke. Uh, you got to know. <laughs> that's not a piano. That's a space station. <laughs> it's more like it. <laughs> Oh, it's more like an overgrown music box. Sorry, Chad, it's 2019. Thank you. Makes it even worse that they're using CDs, but sure. Uh, but it, it, it's keys to press along with, with the music, as though there really is someone playing it. Some people have entirely too much money to waste on overly complex toys. Hey, Edgeworth, you yeah, didn't need to talk about me on up. stream, dude. Wow, wow. These bottles and glasses must have been broken by the turbulence. There is quite a bit of broken glass here. Please, there is quite a bit of broken glass here. Please be careful when passing through the area. Thank you very much for the warning, Mr. Edgeworth. However, no matter how kind you are <laughs> towards me, know that it I does won't not fall in love with you. <laughs> know that it is that it does not clear up any suspicions I have about you. 
Uh, I wasn't warning you for the sake of clearing my name. <laughs> I, I won't develop any unnecessary feelings for you. <laughs> oh, this... the necessary ones. <laughs> this door leads to the flight attendant's room. But please understand that it's off limits to unauthorized personnel. The room is giving off the scent of women's perfume. The scent of French, French lemon. One would think that perfume would smell great. However, to me, it simply smells. Not that I have any interest in what lies beyond this door. Perhaps we should return to the investigation, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth? Sorry, I spaced out for a second there. Edgeworth, do you want to wear perfume? <laughs> You can. Nobody it's, will judge you. It's okay. You, you, it's you're allowed to. <laughs> there are a few copies of Sky Magazine in the magazine rack. This month's special is an English trivia quiz. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's not a bad idea. I've heard that the youth of today don't know a particle from a participle. Shut the fuck up. Uh, now, now, please don't go around <laughs> confusing people with made-up words, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Who's ever heard of such a silly word as participle? Case in point. <laughs> Actually, wait. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, she's hot and... 24. She's hot and dumb. Okay, he's 28. 62?! I did not, not expect bad. him to be 62, yeah. I'm surprised you can't look at the box. What or who is this? This is a bronze statue of the founder of GoYu Airlines, Mr. Hugo Hughes. <laughs> this is a bronze statue of Dwayne <laughs> Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, if really? you've not seen the bronze statue, it's <laughs> so wow, good. Wes was the one to bring up the I'm Wade statue. Genuinely I'm so shocked proud by of that. You. I'm so yeah. proud of you, Wes. Holy shit. <laughs> genuinely. Oh, it's so good. If you're watching this live, if in the edited version, it'll already be on screen. But if you're watching this uh, live, please go Google it. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, they, did, they did not do Mr. Wade justice. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> He deserved better than this. God. The one on the left was when he was in his 40s, and the other is of him in his 80s. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's a good God. bit. I, That's a funny bit. If I ever have enough money to get a statue of me made, I am absolutely going to do that before I die. That's incredible. <laughs> Did the man age at all over those four decades? Maybe I need to squint more. I don't know what that means. Is, is... Okay, cool. There's some spilled grape juice in front of the elevator. I assume it was spilled during the turbulence. Oh. Oh, we must clean that up or someone might get hurt. Aha! What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I found some very important evidence. What? What is the important piece of evidence in this scene? Oh, it's the Feedy Prince. Okay. I, for some reason in my head, I was like, yeah. I don't know why the, the game didn't, didn't show them yet, so. But I did. What is it? They're a little smudged, but I think we can both agree they are a set of footprints. So, you think... Yes, these belong to our killer. Oh, maybe we should check the shoe sizes of everyone in first class. I don't think that will be of any help to us. Unfortunately, the prints are too smudged, which will make it hard to get a definitive match. She looks so fucking that's, sad. That's her fucking uh, Buggy the Clown. Do you remember my special Buggy <laughs> yeah. Balls? Do no. Buggy Balls? Oh. No. no. Oh. <laughs> oh, I 
I see. <laughs> That's incredibly funny. Yeah, that was uh, good. Glasses and candles thrown into disarray by the turbulence. It's been a while since I've seen this big of a mess. It's terribly embarrassing, but I thought it was an earthquake. Uh, it's terribly embarrassing, but I thought it was an earthquake for a second. I frantically started searching for gas valves to shut off. I guess the shaking of the plane was bad enough to be mistaken for a real earthquake. Not that I would know, since I was unconscious for most of it. Not that I would know, because I've never been in an earthquake. <laughs> Just completely in denial. This toppled over chair. Yet another victim of the turbulence. <sighs> Damn you, turbulence! No! Look at all that grape juice staining the back! It may not look it, but this chair was extremely valuable. It was? Yes. It was used when the Rocker Pals came to this plane. You know the Rocker, the Pals. Rocker Pals. I love them. The Rocker Pals leader that. sat in this very chair. I'm sorry, but what are these Rocker Pals? I can't believe you've never heard of them. They're all the rage. The Rocker Pals are an extremely popular international band. They added the Pals part. As they became more popular, especially among teens. Like, what are we doing here? So they were originally just the rockers? Yeah. This would be like Blink-182 being like, we're Blink-182 friends now for the teenagers. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious what this is supposed to be a reference to. Ah, that explains it. I'm not really one for the music of today. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe about them later. On second thought, I can already see how confusing the conversation would get. Oh, you wonder what the Rocker Pals, pal? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. These counter windows offer a glimpse of the sky, but these clouds, they tell me nothing. Mr. Redgeworth, you look like you're talking to the clouds. Is that so? Then tell me, what do you suppose I said to them? What? Why are we having this conversation? I don't know, but it looked like a rather one-sided conversation. Clouds. They tell me nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck was Literally that? what? <laughs> Video game? What an interesting and educational conversation we just had. Uh -huh. Oh, ex can you examine the phone? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll look at it in a second. I'll probably cut this. There's some blood on one of the corners. Could this piggy bank be the murder weapon? Hey, it's probably the murder weapon. <laughs> look at this guy. I suppose this is where you insert your coins. I have to say, for a piggy bank, it's made rather well. So well, in fact, that I'm not sure there's a way to take your money out. <laughs> it says, Go You Airlines. You know, I've seen it occur a lot recently, and it's been bothering me greatly. But why do some brands think it's acceptable to simply smash two words together and call it a day? Go you, Ace Attorney. Stupid names, the lot of them. <laughs> Capcom. Why would you do that? Uh, oh no, we actually can't look at the phone. Damn. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, that's right, because we don't have the phone. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, okay, yeah, spilled grape juice, broken glass. Oh, not broken. Oh, that's broken, broken glasses. glasses. Whoops. Um, I think maybe where was the killer? Do you think the killer was hiding in the elevator? No, with the spilled grape juice. Oh, because the, yes, that's a good point. But yeah, the footsteps steps are going to tell us where the killer went to. <laughs> Several people in the chair. Oh, no! Ah! I can't see a clear connection between these two pieces of information. 
So many people in the chat saying, save data, fucking stupid name. <laughs> 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 really good. Really good chat. Okay, well, fuck us, I guess. Um, yeah. What else is there to look, look at? at? This statue? A pity that a bronze statue knows not when a good drink has been spilt at its feet. This is a statue of our founder, Mr. Hugo Hughes, who is a big fan of grape juice. Just like Shutakami. I'm sure he would be thrilled if he knew so much grape juice was here at his feet. <laughs> Yo, is that weird. a hint of hero worshipping I detect? <laughs> yeah, that's a really weird line. The in-flight shop is just beyond these shutters. We don't have permission to open them, so I'm afraid I must leave them closed. There must still be clues to be found here in this lawn. Lounge. Oh. I must remain ever vigilant. I didn't do it. Almost. I, I didn't do it. Uh, oh, okay. There's still not a check mark here, so I'm guessing we didn't do everything yet. Oh. I would check this earlier, but. Oh, then maybe we did. Something. Oh, oh shoes? Uh, shoes. There's no grape juice residue on the soles oh. of his shoes. Making it highly unlikely that Mr. Hicks entered this elevator after the turbulence. Okay, now that's everything. Okay, yeah. so now... You Can you look at the ice bucket? What ice... Oh. Uh, no, actually. Kind of surprised oh, okay. by it. Uh... Yeah? I think. Can you look at the stairs? I feel like it's just gonna take me back up. Oh, I can't even leave. So, no. Okay. Alright. Well, well, I guess time. we gotta do some... Uh, I guess elevator is where the killer was. Because I can't really think it would connect to broken glasses. Okay, cool. Okay. Huh. I thought that was just a little too obvious. Yeah, but... me too. True. There wasn't anyone else in the lounge other than myself right before the turbulence. But if the killer was in the elevator along with the victim, then that's a different story. Okay, in the elevator with Hicks, spilled grape juice, broken glass. I don't really know what... I need to prove that killer rode the elevator with Hicks. I don't really think anything... Uh... Well... I guess the proof of that would be that there's only grape juice going out. The prints mm. of grape juice aren't in the elevator. They're True. only out of the elevator. Oh, so, he was so they would have had to have been or, in the elevator. Yeah, he was killed out there and then the killer. And someone out. left and went that way. So I guess that those things connect. Uh, mm. Yes, spilled. That tracks. Uh, I have it! Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't understand, Mr. Edgeworth. I said I have it! Have what? <laughs> Chicken <It>! butt. <gasps> Damn. Alright, where's the vine boom? She never there? saw it coming. I've thought about pulling it up, but I, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna overuse the vine boom. I can prove that someone other than myself was here around the time of the murder. What? R really? Yes. It's rather simple, actually. The proof is in the pudding. Or rather, the grape juice, in this case. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good one, Miles. These footsteps here confess to me this very fact. Uh, this is your captain speaking. That joke kind of sucked, too. Uh, we're going to give you another penalty for that one. No! God. I can hear all this! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can hear everything. Over. <laughs> At least I'm safe inside my mind. Uh, that's what you think, idiot. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Get dunked on, <laughs> That someone exited the elevator alive. Seeing as how the victim is dead, that would mean a second person. 
But couldn't the footprints be from Mr. Hicks himself? Ah, but if you take a look at our victim's shoes, you can see the soles are spotless. Which means... Mr. Hicks wasn't alone in the elevator. In fact, it's quite the opposite. He wasn't alone. <laughs> there was actually one other person inside the elevator. Creatures footprints j jotted down. Boom. Yeah! Hey! Hmm? What's going on over there? Hey, uh, he's back. Guy. Oh, actual Virginian. Swedish guy. Unforgivable! This is unforgivable! Do you understand what I am saying? The movie is licked! Bro. It is the same level of bad as if the plane arrived late. <laughs> what? I will not talk to you anymore. You are just wasting my time. What is the matter, Mr. LeBlanc? There is no emergency. Please return to your seat, sir. Do not tell me what to do. I need not to sit down. Well, Mr. Prosecutor, did you prove you are innocent yet? If you would like, I will prove my innocence to you right now. What? Nonsense! Are you saying my eyewitness testimony is mistaken? Not mistaken, merely that there is room for doubt. I'd be most honored if you could please tell me what you saw in detail once more. Fine. Suit yourself. Die. <laughs> I am certain I saw Mr. Hicks enter that elevator. It was when the needles on my pocket watch pointed to the 6 and the 12. Dude, I get that English is not your first language, but you could just say that it's 6 a.m. Like, I know, I know you know how to say that. That is way easier to say. <laughs> The body was discovered 15 minutes after that in the lounge, yes? Then you, the only person in the lounge at that time, must be the criminal! Mr. LeBlanc's confusion seems to make logical sense. Conclusions seem to make logical sense. After all, the only person in the lounge at that supposed time of the murder was me. So? My eyewitness testimony. If you think you can destroy it, then come. Let me see. Hurry. Do I look like a man who is having the time to wait for you? Why is he so irritated? I'm the one accused of murder here. <laughs> anyway, I must find a way to discredit Mr. LeBlanc's account somehow. And fast. I don't really think we have anything against what he says. <laughs> 6 a.m. Bodies discovered 15 minutes later. So you're the only person in the lounge. You must be the criminal. Hmm. He certainly has a lot of confidence in his testimony. Push comes to shove. I may need to press him for more information. Thank you, video. Wink, man. wink. All right, well, let's uh, start pressing. Hold it! Mr. LeBlanc, were you able to get a good look at the inside of the elevator at that time? Of course, I saw what was inside. And you were sure that the victim was in the elevator alone? Yes, the only person inside was that Mr. Hicks man. Hmm, this last outburst is a bit too important to let go. 
The only person inside was ah. that Mr. Hicks man. I think you can just present the the, the, the footprints. The wine stain, yeah. 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 Objection! Nice. Got him. I did not see think, you later. I did not think pressing that first thing was, was gonna the... be the one that would give us something useful. Same. That's incredible. Mr. LeBlanc. What is it? There is a very glaring contradiction in your testimony. What do you mean? Please take a look at the area in front of the elevator. <laughs> there, at the spilled grape juice. Yes, and? Will you admit you also spilled it with the blood? No. It spilled itself during the turbulence. But the interesting thing here is the set of grape juice footprints. P footprints? Yes, the ones that lead from within the elevator out into the lounge itself. It's evidence that proves that someone other than Mr. Hicks exited the elevator alive. <laughs> and with the oomph, mm -hmm. oomph. That's not an unga. <laughs> there must have been another person in the elevator with Mr. Hicks. Now then, I'm done playing games. Why don't you tell us the truth? Sir, what did you just call me? You can't say that in polite society. Yeah, I think we might need to. I think we might need to bleep that part out, mm -hmm. Zach. I'll censor it. Can you please translate for us? <laughs> wow! God damn, that cannot be regulation way to wear your goddamn uniform. That's insane, hey, bro. Hey, Zach, why don't you just shut the fuck up for a <laughs> second, okay? Stop trying to police how women dress, Zach. Yeah. Yeah, Zach. God. Boo. Everybody, everybody boo, Zach. Everybody boob, Zach. Everyone boob, Zach. Yeah. No way. That's totally impossible. I guess is what he said. <laughs> no way. That is totally impossible. I know there was no other person in there. I saw with my own eyes. Then Mango in the chat said, God forbid women have hobbies, Zach, which is very funny, but I definitely read it as God forbid women have boobies, Zach. Women have boobies. And that's incredibly funny. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, boobs are one of my hobbies too. So I get it. If you want to know what I think, Mr. Edgeworth, I don't think Mr. LeBlanc is lying to us. I suppose she's right. He doesn't seem to be lying. But then, what does it mean? What about this contra what about this contradiction? Mr. LeBlanc, please, just once more, will you recall the details of what you witnessed for me? When I saw part two. When I saw a part two. It's I was very saw. upset when Mr. Hicks passed by my seat. He farted as he walked by. <laughs> and he said, dusted me. And he said, safety. <laughs> hey, nothing you can do about it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even be mad. <laughs> Legally. Gotcha. Legally. <laughs> Safety is a legally binding social uh -huh. contract. Uh -huh. Pritch, what part of the California Just... Penal Code covers uh, <laughs> calling <safe>. safety? <laughs> <laughs> I was always checking the time over and over again. I happened to follow that man with my eyes when he passed me. And I saw clearly into the elevator he was entering. But I swear there was no one else inside. No one! Um, 
Mr. LeBlanc, would you, pl if you would please calm down. What? Dare you two have an issue with my eyewitness testimony? Uh, no, not at all. Please forget I said anything. Yet again, she does. he doesn't appear to be lying. I can't let his testimony stand as the truth. I was checking the time over and over. I happened to follow the man with my eyes. Clear. Saw so clearly an elevator. I swear there was no one else inside. No one. I mean. Press this one. Hold it! Bing. Why do you insist that you are absolutely not mistaken? Because when I say I am not wrong, I am not wrong! They did a double whack sound effect, that's crazy. Uh, Mr. LeBlanc, uh, Mr. LeBlanc, if I may, I think beyond misconceptions and mistakes lies the truth. Funny, that suspiciously mirrors something I told her only a little while ago. <clears throat> Mr. LeBlanc doesn't seem to be lying. I may need to draw more information on him. Before I see anything inconsistent. Okay, so we're on the right track with pressing. Uh, we'll, we'll start at the beginning. Why were you so upset when he walked by? Hold it. So, are you still upset now? <laughs> <laughs> you mad, bro? <laughs> no, I am incredibly calm right now. <laughs> wow. I am always upset. The only time I am not is when I have a piece of art in my hands. It's surprisingly easy to believe that about him. But I was even more upset when Mr. Hicks walked by me. Okay, but why? Uh, Hold it! Checking the clock. Why were you so attentive to the time? Because! Because something unforgivable was happening! Hmm? Come to think of it, you were yelling about something unforgivable earlier. I was giving a complaint to the attendant about the movie starting time! Return back to me my time! In money! You understand the point. That is the worst movie. Is he talking about the in-flight one that's mentioned in the magazine? Also, I just realized that she is on the magazine. She's famous. Oh, yeah. That's pretty incredible, actually. I mean, good yeah. for you. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. A summary of the plot and its start time. Interesting. They were supposed to show license to love, laugh, maim, and murder. I cannot see that movie in my country. You can only see it on international flights. It's the only reason I'm Get flying banned. today. And in Virginia, dude. Yeah, what? what? Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, 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 Zinc. You should get yourself a VPN. Speaking yeah, of, dude, this yeah, episode sponsored yeah, by yeah, NordVPN. Holy shit. This would be the right perfect now. time. Wow. We got to call them up. Come on, guys. They sponsor a Nord lot of VPN. people. NordVPN, hook us up. We really should. Honestly, if I was smarter, I would have made sure to get a sponsorship before we put this video essay out, because that would probably get a lot of views. Anyways. I looked forward greatly to that movie. I checked my pocket watch whenever possible so I would not miss it. I even set my pocket watch to the destination time when I came on board. So my watch is not wrong. It matched the schedule. But the movie was still late. Very, very late. Did he fuck up his, his watch? Your pocket watch. I'd like to ask you a little more about it, if that's alright. The movie I wanted to see would not start, so I checked my pocket watch many times. Uh, I mean, could it be six. that that's 6 p.m.? 
I, I bet that's what we're gonna find out. Um, I don't know, I'm sure Hold it. Trust those two. So this movie you mentioned, is it the one listed in the Sky magazine? Yes. I was so looking forward to watching License to Love, Laugh, Maim, and Murder. Mr. Nero, was this movie shown on this flight? Yes. Okay, yeah, it was. It was shown at the scheduled time. Isn't it possible you simply slept through it by accident? Nonsense! You doubt me? No! Now stop pointing at me like that! Odd. How did he miss a movie that he was clearly hoping to see? I checked my pocket watch with great number of times. That much I know for sure. Oh, set to my destination's time. Uh... All oh. times shown yeah. correspond to our departure yeah. time right. zone. Okay. Well. Mr. LeBlanc, you said this. You said this just now in your testimony. I even set my pocket watch on to the destination time when I came on board. That's what you sound like. <laughs> you sound just like that. Now, if your watch has been set to our destination's time zone, it would mean that your watch is displaying the time of our destination and its subsequent time zone. Yes, and the correct time is worth its six cents. I love that movie. I would like you to take a look can at you, this. Can you watch that movie, Virginia? <laughs> no, it's too scary. <laughs> we can watch it, but I don't like it. Makes me scary. <laughs> if you believe this Sky magazine, clocks on this flight run in accordance with the time of our departure time zone. Of course, the movie's schedule was also created with that in mind. Miss Tenero, for confirmation's sake, what time zone is this flight aligned to right now? Well, we made a short stop at a transfer point. That's right. It was in that small Asian country, the Republic of Zhang Fa. Oh, another new country! Another country! Holy I see. shit! What is up with Ace Attorney being like, we we have to create new countries? Uh huh. Because they fucking love doing that. Uh -huh. It's kind of bonkers. But we Also, I, I, I guess it's pronounced... It might be pronounced Shung, Shung Fa. I think is what it would be. Shung Fa? Okay. But I we didn't so. readjust our onboard clocks at that time. So right now, we are still running on Borginian time. The time difference between Virginia and our destination is nine hours. In that case, it's only natural that your watch would be out of sync with the schedule. <laughs> Further, with your analog watch set to our destination's time, it would appear to be running three hours fast when compared to the flight's onboard clocks. It also changes everything about your testimony. And you can bet one million cents on that. <laughs> Shut the f <laughs> In light of this information, it means you saw Mr. Hicks three hours prior at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> My one million cents! It's always for the massive part in space. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> This should clear up all of the remaining accusations. So, this basically widens the time frame for the time of death, right? Yes. 
Because Mr. LeBlanc saw the victim enter the elevator at 3 a.m. It means that the time of death could be anywhere from 3 to 6.15 a.m. The question now is where was Mr. Hicks during that span of time? What was he doing? Oh, does she get her own theme music? She she does. Oh. I think it, I think it might be used. I think this might be just like the goofy okay, character okay. The goofy theme character music for this one. It might be. Chat, you can tell me if this is just for her. Um, I've got something to say. And you are Sleepy McBoobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name, don't wear it out. <laughs> okay, it's just for her. Wow, cool. Yeah. Um oh. I'm Wow I'm from Street Fighter. It's a good it's a good name. Wow, that's such a good name. Fuck. I'm, I'm Cammy Mail. I'm a flight attendant. Really? I preferred Sleepy McBoobs. And what is it you wish to say? Well, I think your story is a little different from how I re remember it. The way they animate her mm. mouth is mm -hmm. so... I, I love it. They did a very good job with this character. What do you mean, Cammy? I saw Mr. Hicks sitting in his seat at 5 a.m. You know? <laughs> what? How can you be so sure of the time? Oh, that's right. He pushed his call button while we were parked at the transfer point. Ah, the stop he made, the stop he made for refueling in cargo transfer in Zhongfa, correct? Why are we making a brief stop refuel transfer cargo in the Republic of Zhang Fa between 4 and 5 a.m.? We ask that all passengers remain on board that time. Thank you for your cooperation. Huh. Yes, it's from 4 to 5 a.m., according to our clocks. And during that time, did any of the passengers leave, or did any new ones board this flight? No. Not a single person got off or on in Zhang Fa. What about the flight crew? The few who were handling the cargo transfer might have temporarily gotten on or off, but eventually everyone, including Cammy and myself, came back on the plane. So basically, I can assume that no one left or got on since our initial takeoff. Interesting. I should keep that in mind. Okay, we're feeling a jump far. <laughs> Yeah, and I answered his call. I can tell you, Mr. Appy Hicks was there in his seat when we took off again at 5 a.m. Okay, getting all the evidence. Ms. Meal. All right, then that puts the time of the murder between 5 and 6.15 a.m. I guess you could say, Cammy isn't just a snack. She's the whole meal. Uh, a... <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty good joke. <laughs> uh, this is your captain speaking. Zach is hyping himself up with his <laughs> own characters. Over. Uh, yes, and we're all pretty cool characters, so it's uh, okay if we do that. Over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what time did you come down to the lounge, Mr. Edward? Hmm. I remember coming down here almost as soon as we left the Republic of Zhang Fa. Ah! You! You were here the whole time from five, yes? Edgeworth, you're so smart, but sometimes you are so dumb. <laughs> then you are the only one who could be the killer! Mr. Edgeworth? Are you really here in this lounge the entire time from 5 a.m. onwards? 
Unfortunately, yes. But then, how do we explain the footprints? Is not that obvious? Is that obvious not? This man waited for Mr. Hicks here in this lounge, waited to kill him. And then he put the corpse in the elevator. That is when the turbulence happened. My eyewitness testimony may have been mistaken. But what time I saw Mr. Hicks enter the elevator on the second floor does not matter. Because the entire incident Concluded here in this lounge. Everything happened in this lounge. Is that what you really believe, Mr. LeBlanc? Do you have another idea? I simply feel that there is something out of place in the scenario you presented. Is there something that can tie this crime to a location other than this lounge? I mean... The footprints leading to the other part of the fucking room. <laughs> but those are going away, though. So those would still imply that this happened in the lounge. Uh, it? it does say looks like footprints and something being dragged, which I think... I mean, technically, it's like, sure, the murder might not have happened in that part, in the in the gift shop area, but, like, there's got to be something. Take that. These footprints... In which direction do you think these are headed? That would be the in-flight shop. Correct. They are headed in the direction of the shop. But, but they look disconnected. They end all of a sudden. You are right to point out that they do not form one continuous trail to the shop. However, there is another piece of evidence that connects the shop to our crime scene. Besides the footprints, what else points to the in-flight shop? The, the piggy bank! The yeah, I was gonna say, the, the, yeah. The murder weapon. This little piggy bank is sold at the in-flight shop. Went to the market. This little piggy this bank, little went, piggy wee bank wee. went home. <laughs> and was bludgeoned atop the victim's head. <laughs> it is sold there and only there, and is not displayed here in this lounge. How then did it find its way here? Don't you find that a tiny bit suspicious? <laughs> Such a trivial point. It only means you prepared it, taking it from the shop first before coming here. It doesn't prove you are innocent at all! Ugh. Is there no way to win with this man? Uh, 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 if I may... What is it? Um, y you see... Well, it's just as Mr. Edgeworth says. Oh, and why do you know this so well? Well, it's just that that piggy bank was there in the shop. I saw it with my own eyes. And when was this? It was maybe around 5.40 a.m.? Isn't that just before we hit that patch of turbulence? That's right. You were in the shop just before the turbulence? Um, yes, I was. Come to think of it. Mr. Nero, when I found... Mr. Nero, when I found the body, I believe you came out of that door. Yes, I did. And what is beyond that door? That's the flight attendant's room. Then, you were on the first floor? Yes. I had I had to do something at the shop and in the flight attendant's room. So I went to the shop first and then to the flight attendant's room. Are you saying you passed by me at some point? Yeah, you were laying on the ground, so 
I just let you sit there. <laughs> You looked very sleepy, so I thought I'd let you rest for a while longer. Yes, you seemed really into the issue of Sky Magazine you were reading at the time. I <clears throat> don't suppose you noticed me walking by. I vaguely recall someone walking by, but I didn't take notice of who it was. Anyway... I was really checking out... I was really checking out their deals on signing up for their travel credit card. <laughs> The piggy bank was definitely there at the shop when I went there. Why did you go to the shop in the first place? I went there for a work-related matter. Work, you say? Yes. The upkeep of the shop is also one of my responsibilities. Why did you not say anything about that until now is what I want to know. In any case, I believe it's clear that the shop needs to be investigated as well. Shall we head over there then? <gasps> what is it now? I refuse to believe that Chamomile yelled, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the it's the Spaceballs character fucking uh Prince Valium. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something, Miss Rhoda? Don't you need the captain's permission to check the shop? No, I haven't forgotten. I have already asked him for his permission to search the entire plane. So I think we're all right. Hmm. That's fair. What is? Well, I just talked to the captain, see? And he said that he didn't give you permission to do anything like that at all. Uh, this is your captain speaking. I did not give her permission to do anything like that at all. Over. <laughs> See? Uh. <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Miss Tenero? Oh. Uh. Go on. If that you are. You said you had permission to search all over, but you don't. Objection! And yet, here you are. Goddamn, Pridge, you doing this voice has me yawning left, right, and center. I cannot also, stop yawning. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna point out a small design thing uh -huh. uh, that I literally just noticed. Is it the uh, guns and their ears? Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's the. Like, uh, Tenero's got... Circles. Circles, yeah. It's very cool. It's very cool. I, I can only imagine that Cammy has circular buttons to uh, <laughs> draw attention to her two circular eyes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you, flight attendant! What are you trying to do? Pull the sheep over us! Captain's calling for you, Miss Rhoda. Uh, Miss Rhoda, can you go to the captain's uh, quarters, please? This joke's starting to suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, this joke is really cool. Over. <laughs> uh, fuck you, Purge. Over. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. I think if I bully Zach enough, he'll stop. <laughs> Already got permission to search the shop from the captain. Oh, so do we trade out who's coming with us? Damn, See, Cammy. I, unlike you, I do things the right way. Mr. Nero, why would you do such a thing? Please excuse me. What is why 
I get to be in charge now. <laughs> I'm now it, now it 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 redoes it redoes the Biles Edgeworth Investigations logo and scribbles out <laughs> Biles Edgeworth and it's Cammy, Cammy Meal Investigations. <laughs> <laughs> this is my video game now. <laughs> Please go back to your seat, Mr. LeBlanc. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth. If you would follow me, I will be your guide from now on. There's something about Mr. Nero that has piqued my curiosity. <laughs> oh, yeah? But right now, investigating the in-flight shop is my top priority. Folks, that is going to do it for another Ace Attorney Investigations with an actual lawyer again. Let us know in the comments down below how uh, excited you are that we're getting back to this game. Uh, and how much you love the captain speaking over the uh, speaker joke. And how you think it's really good and I should keep doing it. Uh-huh. Uh yeah, that's exactly what they're going to... Uh-huh. No, about. no. I'm going to get a lot of really nice comments and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but hey folks, until next time, stick around for art because court is adjourned. Riley Lung Thief with Falling My Limb is art from last week. Here's a little comic I drew speculating about which fictional stage lawyer Phoenix would have portrayed. Uh, still haven't watched your musical to your list video, but I have no strong feelings about Chicago, so you can't hurt me, affectionate. Chicago is mid. I said it. The movie's actually good, though. Wow, you were right. Mr. Nick really is like <laughs> Elle Woods. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> okay, haha, ha, very funny. Listen, I get the comparison, but I never even did Legally Blonde in college. I did play Billy Flynn in our production of Chicago, though. That's pretty cool, Mr. Nick. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Does not know what Chicago is. You've never had to endure his 8 a.m. rendition of Razzle Dazzle. Come on, Truce. I know you like that song. Plus, I let you sing Roxy's part and both reach for the gun. It's one line, Dad. <laughs> that is a good musical theater joke. Uh, Scott with your boy's got the opposite of art block right now, and he's been drawing for a while. Happy Hallow's Eve, gang. Phoenix is supposed to be a harpy-esque bird monster thing. Ooh, very cool. Uh, me and Ace Attorney Chat came up with a Hydra Poly, and I had to draw him. Cut off a horn, two will take its place, and then it turned into into a nine-horned poly. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, and related yeah. to the actual case being played this time, I was reminded that there was a trend back when Ace Attorney got popular again where people drew Phoenix in the Trabian costume. So I did an alt version with Edgeworth wearing the Go You uniform because we're yeah. silly like that. Yo, that looks so good! Hell Yo. yeah! He is also breast and boobily. Oh shit, I also just realized that you made his costume have triangles. That's good. Oh, That's smart. Very smart. Hell that yeah. Smart. Bubbles the Bandit with I'm Back from the Dead. I don't know if y'all even remember me because I left for like two years, but I'm back with some art of Rhoda Tenero. Uh I do remember you, Bubbles the Bandit. Uh, you have a very good and memorable username. And this looks awesome. Uh, I, I like this a lot. I really like the gradient on the eyes. Hell yeah. Uh, Reaper with, I don't have anything evil and spooky this weekend, so I'm villain posting to make up for it. Mad on guard is the phone trend thingy. That's so smart. That's really good. I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, some of the girlies in Halloween costumes. I saw this earlier. Uh, Athena as Starfire and using Widget as, like, her little, like, jewel on her chest piece is so smart. It's it's brilliant. That is good. Uh, I like, like that a lot. Pearl is the like, what's the fuck like Ghoul Academy brats, but they're horror monsters. You know what I'm talking about. Monst monst Monster High. Monster High. Thank you. Uh, and Clavier is a fucking uh, <clears throat> Harley. Harley Quinn. Yeah. So good. So good. Uh, and the Karmas. A. I love the braids. Also, man. Harley Harley Quinn is a fucking Ace Attorney ass name. <laughs> it really is. It, it really, really is. is. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> People yelling at me because I said Ghoul Academy instead of Monster High. Shut the fuck up. I'm 33 <laughs> years old. You think I know what the hell Monster <laughs> High is? <laughs> this is fucking Five Nights at Freddy's all over again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's funny. A glam rock star Mavi, first time poster here. Welcome. We've got aerosol hey. memes. <laughs> hey. Uh, yes. The fucking take a look at this badge. <laughs> nice. Ace. Uh, Ace detective Luke Achu. <laughs> wow. Hell yeah. Uh, very good and welcome, uh, yeah. Mavi. Hell yeah. Yeah. Those are very funny. Mint Mango with I don't think I've ever posted traditional art for art for stream, so I suppose here's my first one. I liked it enough and I did it again digitally, played around with the lighting for the for the last one. Yeah, this I like is the really drama. good. The the, the yeah. rough sketch is like it's it's fucking awesome. I love when people like just super color in the backgrounds of things like that. Uh, and yeah, oh my god, this the fucking digital one is so good. What? What Yeah, that is very good. Amazing. I I like that a lot. Hell yeah, Mint Mango. Uh, Hedge's Corner also with a cosplay, participating in my own Ace Attorney with an actual voice actor. On November 16th, Sean Chiplock. Uh, yes, the voice actor of Pewter as well as the Duck Detective uh, uh, Let's Play. Uh, on his Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Sonic Mega, has been hosting live ensemble dubbings of the Ace Attorney series with his community for the past few years, and he's beginning to wrap up Apollo Justice. I'm playing Zach Grammary, so to celebrate, have a picture of me in the cosplay of Shoddy Smith. Check out the stream, then go support Save Data's charity stream for Extra Life. That's awesome! Also, oh, yeah. genuinely incredible uh, cosplay. That yeah. looks so good. Hell yeah. Mickey with, I wanted to work this out more, but I accepted that I'm not working on this ever again because I'm an eepy little guy. Whenever y'all get the meme that Phoenix is so girl dad. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I love this. Uh, this meme format. <laughs> I love that you put Miles in the background like, Phoenix, calm down. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Raz Rat Chris with Gumshoe Cosplay. Gumshoe Cosplay. Uh, uh, niece insisted on being in the pictures. She's little, so she's blurred. Yeah. yeah. You look so good. This is a great Gumshoe. Yeah. Hell yeah. And you even got the you even got the <laughs> band-aid in the last shot. Yo, yeah, the last shot with your knee shooting you with a nerf gun is also, so good. Yeah. Listen, this is what happens when Gumshoe gives gives, gives his guns yeah. to children. Like straight up, this is what I I headcanon Pearl and Gumshoe having this interaction 100 percent That's so good. Uh, Moon Knight with Kopalo Angel Demon Inktober drawing. The rings and the prosecutor's badge are a metallic gel pen. Ooh, very, very cool. I love this too. The pose is great. Hell yeah. Uh, Clownish Frogo with hello. I'm tired. Uh, I'm so tired making my school thing, but I took a break to post. My Trucy costume, I got to wear it to school. Yippee. Hell yeah. This came Thank together you. super good. All the good cosplays yeah. this week. Hell yeah, y'all. A mist with my first day's journey stream I was able to make. Uh, didn't really have anything prepared, so I have something in my Edgeworth costume for tomorrow. Though sadly, I couldn't find a red jacket. And yeah, the the costume looks so good. Your fucking mm -hmm. Jabot is amazing. Also, you have the updated autopsy. Updated, report, bitch. <laughs> That's amazing. Hell yeah, mist. Nova again. The cosplays keep coming. Uh, Beanix for Halloween this year. I just needed to get a beanie and a locket. Ignore the stripes are on the wrong side. Surprisingly, unsurprisingly, no one knew who I was dressed at an early Halloween party I attended. No, this looks so good. Yeah. You even got the really picture good. in the locket. That's incredible. Hell yeah. Saf with I had an inspiration burst this week. The perceiving sillies and some meme I saw made me think of them. Uh, Apollo's text is just his name copy pasted from the wiki. Ugh. Yeah, that's so good. Like I said, I always love a good yeah, font treatment. Cool. This is great. Uh, very, very cool, Trucy. I love like the blur <laughs> and like, the background effects on this. So good. Uh, and finally, a little uh, Athena uh, Juniper. You are both a gorgeous and kind person. Even if you have changed, you still are one of the people I treasure the most, both from my past life and now. I don't think there's a universe where I don't love you. Hi, Jimmy. I think your speech and thought bubbles mixed up. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, Dahlia Boat uh, with... Uh, this is your... Ca uh, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to the Weekly Ace. No special spooky art today, but a Teneiro because she's cute. 
Yeah. <laughs> she is cute. Oh, did you know that Zero yeah. Escape and Isomnia files are on sale right now? This is flavor text. Local reporter says that Captain Gag is very cool. Despite masses <laughs> being split on this gag, uh, despite the masses being split on this gag, the brave reporter says it is a wonderful gag without flaws. How does this relate to the flight? No idea. Yo, this, this reporter, <laughs> this is not fake news. This is really good. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate uh I appreciate the support on this one. <laughs> they say they say that Zach's head grew three sizes that day. <laughs> Fucking West saying court is in session with what I'm assuming is a far fetched. And then court uh, is now in session, sir. And fucking chat, is this real? Are you seeing this? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Time to show you the true meaning of the ends justifies the means. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking no, 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 no! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! <laughs> Unless you can go back in time. <laughs> fucking actual Marty McFly. This case is heavy. Uh, your OCs. Is that... Who's on the far right? Oh, it's the new Doctor Who. It is, it is the new Doctor? The, okay. It's 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 the latest Doctor, I'm Okay, sure. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> uh, come on, Abby. We haven't been active in ages. <laughs> Don't worry, Tim. I'm sure our time will come. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, or uh, tearing up, looking out the uh, the prison cell window, and then yeah, fucking uh, them clasping their hands with uh, actual Athena or actual Phoenix from the fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I fucking love this yoked as fuck ass Athena though. <laughs> Folks, we'll see you whenever you see us. You're all the best. Have a good night. Night.